Hello everyone, CCG Collector here. Today I'm going to be showing off some of my trading card storage solutions and by way of doing that, reviewing three different items. The BCW shoebox, the trading card dividers here that I use, and the trading card box monster pads that I use to pad out the boxes when I don't have enough cards to fill them. I've been able to purchase all three of those on Amazon.com. These boxes, I don't recall exactly, I think they go for about $8 to $10. You can get a packet of the horizontal trading card divider cards for $25 for about 8 bucks, And you can get these monster pads for $20 for about 8 bucks, I believe. First off, the shoe boxes. Now these shoe boxes are very hefty. They're not like your normal BCW card boxes where they just hold the cards and not much else. These can hold 2,280 trading cards. That's your Pokemon, your Magic the Gathering, your Star Wars. If you have thicker trading cards, like baseball cards, I believe it only holds 1,600. But the reason I really like these is that they have the height and the width to hold trading card supplies as well. I've got top loaders in here. I've got extra sleeves. Heck, I've even got deck boxes. Got some nice uh, Star Wars art sleeves by Fantasy Flight Games. And I also have some one-touch uh, trading card slabs. So this is a great storage solution for your supplies, but it's also an excellent uh, storage solution for your trading cards themselves. Now. You'll see in this box here, I'm still organizing some cards, so it's not completely filled out. But I have all my commons, which I don't bother sleeving. I have my uncommons and rares, which I do sleeve. I use the trading card dividers to separate them by set and side, so rebel or imperial. And I use the monster pads to fill up the space so that the cards aren't moving all back and forth. I like these boxes a lot for that reason. I can hold a lot of cards and they're very sturdy. I can stack several of them on top of each other. As for the dividers, they're pretty solid and you can get 25 of them in a pack. BCW and Ultra Pro also offer these, car, uh, these dividers, but in smaller quantities. For the same price, you'll only get 10, I believe, from BCW. And the BCW ones are a little narrower, a little taller, and on the bottom they have a flat edge. You see right here we have rounded corners on all four sides. The BCW ones have rounded corners on the top and a flat edge on the bottom. I believe the Ultra Pro ones are the same, but the website does not give a lot of detail there. Now let's take a look at the monster pads. These come 22 a box, and when I bought them, they were shipped in, conveniently, a BCW, they stick it over, but a BCW, you can kind of see it, 930 count storage box. Right away though, you see the issue with storing them in here. You can kind of see a crease along the top, and you can definitely see it here, because the pads are too big for the box. Now, that's not terrible, because they do squish down, but I would be concerned if I use this style of box, I would be concerned about, you can see the crease there too, about damaging the box because I have these in here. However, that's not a problem with the shoe boxes. You see, they fit in nicely and they don't squish on the sides, they don't squish on the top. I can take a, excuse me, I can take a lid and I can put it right on top, perfectly sealed. No problem there. So I like these. They are not as firm as I expected them to be. They're very squishy, but they get the job done. You can see I have six of them in here. The cards aren't really moving at all. Three of them here, same deal. As far as the dividers go, they will fit in a card box like so. They will obviously fit in the shoe boxes because they're wider and taller. However, if you choose to use your Star Wars anthology or similar boxes to store your cards, as I used to do, I had to 
Let me do it from the other side here. I had to trim these in order to get them to fit inside the box. Not a big deal, you just take a scissors, cut, cut, but it's still worth noting. Uh, one final thought on the shoe boxes. Top loaders fit great, sleeves fit great. However, if you have something taller, if you have a, um, a three by five a top loader for whatever reason, or if you have, trying to see if I have one available to me. Yeah, just a second. Sorry, I don't. But if you have the sort of Ultra Pro sleeves that you use to send cards off to be graded, they have a little, um, like an extra thing on the top that says Ultra Pro on them. They stick up too much to seal the boxes, so you can't really use them in the shoe boxes either. But given that you can use shoe boxes to store cards, sleeved cards, cards and top loaders, uh, card sleeves, deck boxes, and so much else, and they're so sturdy, I highly recommend them, and I like them a lot. The dividers, go for the pack of the generic pack of 25 if you can. I'll include links to all of these on Amazon. And they work pretty well. They, you can see there's not a lot of space left for labeling, but if you just want to divide your sections, they work quite well. And finally, the pads, get the job done. If you don't have them, you can use a deck box like I do right here or something of the sort to fill the space. But if you don't have that, use these pads. They fill it out nicely. This has been the CCG Collector. Post any questions you have in the comments. And uh, thank you all for watching.